I'm Lardo. And I'm Burley. And, and we're, we're the, the Moron, Moron Brothers. Brothers. Got a frog in my throat. Yeah, well, you know, Tim Farmer and his brother Jonathan. Yeah. Been out fishing one night and they come back and they seen some pigs over in the field. Tim said, let's get us one of them pigs. So he pulled over and he jumped out and get a pig with old farmer come running out hollering. And they throwed that pig up in the cab of that truck and took off getting it. Wasn't long, boy. Here comes the sheriff crews up behind them. Lights are flashing, siren blowing. Jonathan said, oh, what are we going to do now? Tim said, don't worry. He said, here, set that pig up here between us. He said, here, put my cap on his head. He said, there's some sunglasses in the glove compartment. Put them sunglasses on him. I said, look here, there's a sweater laying in the floor, but wrap that sweater around him. Mm. They set that pig up between them, put that hat, sunglasses, and sweater on him, and they pulled over. Well, here comes the sheriff up there, you know. And he had, it, had a little deputy with him, one of them little out of town guys like Barney Fife, you know, and a little deputy right. run up there with that flashlight, you know, throwed that flashlight in there, throwed it in Tim's eyes. I said, what's your name, boy? I said, Tim Farmer. I throwed over in Jonathan's eyes. I said, what's your name? I said, Jonathan Farmer. Throwed in that pig's eye. I said, what's your name, boy? They elbowed him around hard and old pigs. He said, it. And the deputy said, well, I don't reckon y'all the ones we're looking for. He said, y'all go on and drive careful. And as he turned to walk away, they heard that sheriff tell that deputy. He said, you know, I know just about all them farmer boys around these parks. I swear, I believe Onk's best looking one of the month. <laughs> <laughs> this here is about a hog that I used to have. Well, I had a little hog named Colby, and he used to follow me around. He'd bring me the morning paper, like for me to read about Charlie Brown. Taught him how to bark at the garbage man, showed him how to pee on the tire. When he wanted outside, he'd scratch on the door, head straight for the neighbor's yard. Colby was a mixed up hog, it is all my fault to treat him like a dog, and he could do anything any old dog could do. Roll over, play dead, do all the tricks real good, and whip any dog in the neighborhood. Kobe, they'll never make a hound out of you. A few years went by, and Kobe got big. I decided I'd tell him that he was a pig. Didn't like it very much, tore the fender right off of my car. So I showed him some pictures of a hog in a book, squinted and squealed, and didn't want to look, and got mad, rooted the carpet up off my floor. We was watching TV a few nights ago and the Muppets came on and was his favorite show. I hollered, hey, Kobe, he was blowing bubbles in the tub. About the time he came out and plopped himself down, Miss Piggy walked on wearing an evening gown. Kobe got excited to think the boy fell in love. So we went for a drive in the countryside out to old man Jenkins' farm. I bought the prettiest little gilt that the old man had. Kobe held her in his arm. On the way home, I nearly fainted. I looked in the back, days of getting acquainted. Boy, the quick courtship, short honeymoon. Now there's nine little Kobe's running around my living room. Kobe was a mixed up hog. It is all my fault to treat him like a dog. He could do anything any old dog could do. Roll over, play dead, do all the tricks real good. Whip any dog in the neighborhood. Kobe, they'll never make a ham out of you.